was working in the private sector and I wanted to get into something of my own. So I chose fish farming initially. After starting fish farming, I realized that we were faced with another problem of containing the growth of grass on the ponds. So we chose sheep. Before we started sheep, we started using lawnmowers just to cut the grass. We realized that it was a cost and we were losing lawnmowers very frequent. It lasted probably three to six months. And we tried to do something natural and we started with sheep and we have not looked back since. Mr. Hill chose fish farming for multiple reasons, among which were that it was a new industry and one that not many people were involved in at the time. At the time, fish was relatively new. And it was an industry that not much people was in. And I, you know, I felt that I wanted to try out my hands at fish farming. Because you know the, the nature, the depletion of the ocean. And we felt that there would be a demand for fish and the importance of fish in the diet. So we chose fish farming. But H and H's role in the fish farming industry had to change due to the effect that a declining economy had on this industry. We originally started with what is called a fingerling, which is about a about finger size. And we started a contract with a company in Jamaica, which we were exporting at the time. However, about three years ago, they stopped exporting. And um, the whole industry in Jamaica went in a tailspin. So we decided to do everything that is required. We now had to start from the beginning by producing the fries and do marketing. Hence, the family was involved. Ironically, as the fish farm inside of the farm was being reorganized, it was also realized that there was an avenue to achieve greater economic value from the sheep side of things. We found out that there was a section of Jamaica, a section of the society, who wanted sheep. And in fact, we discovered that Jamaica imported a lot of sheep meat and as lamb for the hotel. And we are supplying only about 5%, somewhere between 4, 5, 6% of the hotel's requirement. And we, when we looked at it, it looked like something that could, you know, could be a butter on your finger. So we got into it and then hence the start of the commercial aspect of the sheep farming. H&H Farms is thriving and has recently expanded into a company. According to Mr. Hill, the main challenge that he faced was trying to get the financing to do what was needed at the right time. He says this would not have been possible without the Caribbean Export Development Agency, which he was introduced to by Jampro. After the, you know, Jamaica went to a lot of stages in the financial sector and with the last of export, we were exporting probably through, through this big company about 20 tons per month of fish. And with the reduction, about one third of that, the production was, we wanted to get into something that would sort of enhance income. And CEDA were offering grant funding. And so we, we contacted them and put forward a program of development so we could be self-sufficient. So the family business now is self-sufficient. We can produce the, f the, the, the animal, and we can slaughter it, package it, and get it to the consumer. The grant funding from CEDA has been used to enhance and protect the farms. We got one for fish, which was a collaboration with YS Farms in St. Elizabeth, which is halfway on the other side of the country, to develop the fish. And there was the one for the sheep, which we have bought equipment, which saw, and a vacuum pack. And the security. In Jamaica, we have problems with predators, human predators. And we had to secure the fencing so we have for the sheep. So we have, bought, we have set up the fencing, the nice chain link fencing that you have seen there. We also have been exper experimenting in Rhinesbury, which was part of the support with a sprinkler system 
and a new type of grass, the malato grass, for sheep, which is a high protein grass that is now in the process of developing. They assist us also in doing that. Future grant funding will be geared towards marketing. Mr. Hill notes that his farm would not have grown and developed without Cedar's help because the high interest rate in Jamaica would have made it extremely difficult for him to secure the necessary funds for expansion and upgrading. At h, h Farms, efforts are ongoing to improve the genetics of both the tilapia and the sheep, but one of Mr. Hill's primary goals is to ensure that his farm becomes a key supplier of lamb in Jamaica. Sheep is a particular thing where we want to get into the market, the hotel market, because 94% 90, of it is brought into Jamaica. 94% of that's the, 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 the situation in Jamaica right now. And the hotels are using a lot of lamb meat. Why we're not in it? We don't have enough. The hotel requires that you have supply them every month so much. We are too small to get into the hotel right now. H&H &H Farms is located at Hill Run.